everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is all about this. So we try and do as much DIY as possible at home purely because we can, we've got the tools, we're not silly and we can do a lot of the repair work. So that's what we're going to do here. Now unfortunately yesterday we were going outside, we were going to take the horse trailer out and unfortunately this Yale bolt there deadlocked locking us out of the house now that's fine because we've got two spare keys unfortunately both people that have spare keys were not in the area so we were properly locked out and on my house keys is the key to the horse field and as you've probably seen from our film about doing the natural horsemanship and also the obstacles yesterday was one of the days that we actually needed to get the horse out of the field so we needed the keys so we had to smash the window to be able to unlock the Yale. I do not recommend doing this. It was really dangerous. We had shards of glass everywhere. It was horrific. Luckily at the time I'd got a, an implement like a, a tire lever in the car. So I was able to actually smash that through, which wasn't nice. So now we're going to fix it. Let me show you what we've done so far. So we tried to get as much of this away as possible. At the moment it's still puttied in, so that's going to be one of the next jobs just to get that away from there. I will wear gloves as well to be able to make sure that that's done safely. We've also got these, which is what we've taken out. So we need to take the pins out of there to make sure that that's done. We're going to give them a good old sand down as well. So when it's time, they can be popped back in. I'm not sure which way they go. Anyway, don't suppose it matters. Um, we will be able to get them back in later. So join us as we fix our own window, yay! So I'm gonna try and be as gentle as possible pulling this out. It unfortunately is safety glass. Well, I say unfortunately, probably fortunately, but it has also been puttied in, which means that it's quite tricky to be able to get out. So this bit might take me a while because I've got to try and get as much out as possible now this couldn't have come at a worse time for us because at the moment <coughs> we're actually cleaning out the garage so we're already upside down and now we're upside down and covered in glass right i think that putty's gonna have to come out with a knife where's the stanley knife so i tried a knife on this and it doesn't actually work due to the putty being the um, being what it's like the only thing that's working to get this off is a hammer and a chisel and this is a really 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 thick chisel it does have a little bit of a nick in it gosh knows what william's done with that but yeah so we're using this and slowly we're just prizing away all of the old putty and all of the old glass from around the door hopefully won't take us too long so it's actually coming away really nicely. I have unfortunately had to ditch the gloves because it made it almost impossible to be accurate when I was using the chisel. So I've just been gently prising it away like that, but trying to be really, really careful that I don't prise the wood away at the same time because we want it to come, but we don't want it to uh, bring all of the wood with it as well. So again, we're just trying to tease it all away which isn't the easiest of jobs you don't really know where to put your chisel to start with sometimes but we're just shaving it away piece by piece just trying to get rid of all of that horrible putty and glass while trying to keep the wood at the other side as in place as possible but yeah it's coming along slowly we will get there and it will look absolutely lovely well i can't say that was an easy job because it wasn't or even losing light outside but look at that that is all clear now of most of the putty there's still some ones there just some little bits but all of the glass more importantly so i'm going to give everything a hoover up well not exactly a hoover up a wipe down let's say then i'm going to get the sander on it and then i'm going to the sanding this is my detailed sander i absolutely love it 
got it a couple of years ago to help me when I renovated the utility room here at home. And so I've got a really, really fine sandpaper on there now. And I'm just going to go around all of the edges to make sure it's nice and smooth for re-putting putty and putting in the piece of glass. Of truth. Oh, it just fits. I'm going to need to do a little tiny bit more chiseling to get that in there. That is a snug fit. Right, okay, where's the chisel? So, as you can see, I'll just close the door so it's more stable. It fits in now like a glove. So, unlike the male people that I know, let's call him my dad, I'm now going to tidy up before I do the next step. And the next step is going to involve some putty and also getting the bits of beading tidied up and then put back on around there. Also, I think the glass needs a bit of a clean as well it's a bit gross and it's got very dark outside we've got to try and get these bits of wood which hold the uh, pane of glass in place ready to put back on so i'm doing that by using a really fine sandpaper just to make sure that there are no edges or any of the glue still left on <laughs> Yesterday. Oh, perfect. Yes, absolutely does. That is great news. So now we just need the putty. I actually do do the putty because I believe it has a um, five minute drying up time. Oh, just dropped a pin on the floor. I have got ready with the panel pins and my little pin hammer. I think I've had that since I was a very, very, very small child. I don't know why a small child would have a pin hammer, but there you go growing up on a farm. Unibond. Unibond Express Repair Putty. Easy to use. Right, so this seems to have six little partitions at the back where you have the putty and it says to knead it in your hand until it's all white. Oh, I think that's got some film on it. Let me put that down. Oh yeah that has got film on it right ew squishy i best get kneading see you in about five minutes here we go all white putty now normally when you do an external door and this was an external door originally um you would use putty all the way around and that's really important to do so because not only would the pane of glass rattle if it's not insecurely but it could also let in a draft however that's not as important for us because if you look through we've had a, a porch put on so there is a proper external door and this is now an internal porch door so for that reason i'm going to separate this into two and from what i can see online ooh, keep dropping things the only important bits that need securing is if you do little sausages like that and put them evenly in the corners like so we can then fix the glass and then the um, beading should do the rest so if I put that down there like that split this in half as well pop that 
Emma. And then do the last little sticky thing up here. Awesome. Now, let's get the glass. Moment of truth. Getting that in there and securing it in place with the putty. There we go. Lovely. That looks great. I have now loosely slotted in the panels to keep the wood in. Now these obviously are not going to fit back to perfection. There's going to be a lot of sanding needed to make sure that it goes in because the piece of glass that I've got is probably thicker. It's reinforced glass so it's probably thicker than the one that I've taken out as well. Plus obviously I've had to do a lot of sanding as well um, to be able to get rid of the putty that was already on the inside but that's about as close as it is going to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin those in place next and then hopefully with some decorators cork everything should stay in absolutely lovely and we can go for a repaint, yay! Here we go, so I've loosely pinned them in place, they're looking absolutely great. There are some areas that I've got overhang again because my glass is a bit thicker down below here is a prime example that is going to need a little bit of sanding with the big sander but let me just put the pins in lovely all of these bits here that look a little bit untidy by the time we've used the sander all we need is some decorators core and that should look amazing I'd be lying if I said that that wasn't nerve wracking. That was terrifying. You're having to use a hammer next to the thing that you've just spent three days preparing for. Really, really, really scary. Right, I'm going to get the big sander on all of this now just to try and take away these jagged edges and make it flush with the door. And then we can get on with the decorator's cork. Yay! Right, next tool. Even though it might be a little bit brutal for what I want, I just want to make sure all of these edges are smoothed off. But this is quite a big tool. And as you can tell, it goes at a massive speed, so it might be too much for what we want. If it is, I'll go back to the smaller sander. If you are doing any DIY at all, this stuff is absolutely your best friend. There we go, all masking taped up. So just to show you, I have actually done that both sides, front and back. Reason being, where I've taken a lot of the putty out there has actually taken away a lot of the woodwork. So we're going to fill that in with decorator's cork as well before we touch up again. Lovely, hopefully have a new window soon. So it's now Wednesday, so we haven't done any filming since yesterday. Just been waiting for this to settle, make sure that there's no movement in it. I wasn't sure whether or not there would be anyway, but I've also gone and purchased some of this. And while I'm absolutely hacky black, I thought it would be nice to be able to get this on so the idea of this is just to fill in the gaps around here and also fill in the other one now i'd usually only use a, a decorator's cork but the tubes of those are about this big and i only need the tiniest of bits so i thought with this it'd be quite handy and then i've got another couple of little jobs around the house that i can use it for as well so i guess we better get going and see what it's like Doing this is absolutely not an easy job at all. That putty is very, very difficult to work. I was going around the paintwork now, just taking off the uh, 
remnants of the stuff that's leaked everywhere because if it doesn't need to be in an area then we don't want it so I've got an old rag just to get rid of all of the uh, excess out of the corners I mean it has done a good job but I do much prefer using a decorator's cork it is so much easier than that filler if you've got weak hands or wrists and you're not able to squeeze then that is a very 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 difficult product to use and I wouldn't recommend it um, if you can get decorators cork do <laughs> if I want it to be square on I'm just using a knife just to make sure that it is down where we want it absolutely not the smoothest job I've ever done in my life but unfortunately this stuff seems to be more like a, a wall filler than an actual decorator's cork and the good thing is about it though is that you can sand over it so even though it does look a little bit messy in places once it's dry I will be able to smooth it over with the sander which is great and all that's really needed thankfully right that's another stage of the job over yay getting there it's now been three days since we put the filler on the window now that might seem like an excessively long time and it really is far too long but unfortunately my mum's been really poorly she's been in hospital with pneumonia so get well soon mum and she's home now and resting at home but that has meant that this has had to wait a few days which you know is a good thing because it means that all of this is now really 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 super dry so the next stage is going to be to get the sandpaper on it and then we can do the very last thing which is painting so by the end of the t today we should be done and today is Sunday so it's exactly a week ago today <laughs> since it was broken in the first place so all things considered especially with three days off we've not done too bad really <laughs> So I've finished sanding, much nicer surface, much, much, much nicer. I've put a new layer of um, tape on the window so that I can get the coat of paint on and fingers crossed it'll be done soon. And the last coat of paint is now drying. I cannot tell you the sense of achievement that this has given me. Have I done a perfect job? No. Did I want to do a perfect job? No, I knew I couldn't. It was nothing about that. It was proving to myself that after having something happen, that I don't just have to pick up the phone and call somebody to come and do it for me. Give it a go. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do now with this next bit down here. So years ago when William was a baby, if you look at the top of the stairs up there, um, we had a child safety gate, which was the worst place in the world for somebody to put a child safety gate because it meant every time an adult had to come up or downstairs they had to use this gate anyway pinged off flew down the stairs straight into there that board has been up for 14 years that is why there was no way i was boarding this up because the second you put a board up it stays like that and it never gets done the job never gets finished so that wasn't going to happen here so yes it's taken a week do i care no i really don't i'm really glad that my mum's okay and that she's out of hospital fingers crossed for a speedy recovery there but i've proved to myself i can do it the rest of the paint i don't know how long that's been on there several years maybe six seven years so this is going to be a lot whiter around here i really don't mind I really, really, really don't mind. Is it going to be that visible with the naked eye? Not really. And it just means that come the spring when paint dries a bit quicker, one of my first jobs on my spring list is to just give the whole door a paint. It doesn't matter. It's secure and it's got glass in it. And I can't wait to polish it up and it to be finished. So there we go. A few hours later and we have an absolutely finished window again it's not perfect but it's not broken either and I know that the color is not the same but it will be next year when I give it all a coat of paint now there is one thing that I want to say about this I would never have normally given this a go 
But recently I've had a complete change of attitude about, oh no, I can't do that. To, do you know what? Let's give it a go. And I'm so glad I did. I feel such a sense of accomplishment. It might just be a window, but then next time it's going to be that window, which has been something I've been looking at for 14 years and I cannot wait to get that replaced. It's given me the absolute push I need, especially during the winter months when I can't do as much outside, to just get more and more done inside. So watch this space, there is going to be lots more DIY. Whether I'm good at it or not good at it, I'm going to give it a go anyway. So please join us, we upload every single Thursday or sooner from me and the new window. Goodbye and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.